This is not financial advice, but you know I got some bangers for you today. But before we get into the bangers, you know what? We got to talk about bio nanogenomics, which is another banger. But let's talk about it. I told you on Instagram that you got to watch this one in the pre-market because it's about to take off, right? And a lot of you waited for the pre-market, but then you didn't know how to access the pre-market. And now you know, you telling me, oh, Keenan, how do I get into the pre-market? How do I get into the pre-market? That would have been a really good question if you would have asked it sooner. But you know what? We can't cry over spilled milk. So this is how you do it. This is why a lot of us YouTubers tell you to use Weeble. Use Weeble because on Weeble, you get access to pre-market depending on your location at 4 a.m. if you use a limit order. And you can invest all the way out to 8 p.m. if you use a limit order so you can get in quick. This is why I pin it in the top comment every single time so you can actually use it. I want you to get free stocks and all of this and that, but you can actually access the pre-market way, way early. Now, I want you to invest in the companies you actually believe in and you actually understand so that you actually buy the dip when it dips. And then you don't sell low and then you don't come back crying to me because you know I'm not having that. So if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then throw you out of the kitchen and consider investing into ARK index funds. I mean that. So now, first one on the list and this one, we're going to get to the bangers, but we got to cover this one first. Neo, because Neo did a run today. We can't, we can't skip out on Neo. Neo did a run today. Let's talk about it. They are $53 a share, and they're up 10% on a day, 23% on a week, and they're up 1,200% on a year. And we already know these stock analysts like Neo, 12 of them, they said that it was going to 60 on the high, 30 on the low, and 50 on the median. And that includes the price target from Bank of America, which is $59. And we know the price is fluctuating like crazy because Neo Day is coming. And it might fluctuate before Neo Day. It might fluctuate after Neo Day and just drop like a rock. It could take off. Now, these are the things you got to look for. We already know they dropping that 150 kilowatt hour battery. We already know they dropping a sedan. But what, this is what we got to pay attention to. Neo is also supposed to announce autonomous driving like a new level of autonomous driving. So what we're hoping for, not new to the world, but new to them. So we're hoping that they drop level four autonomous driving. This is when a car can drive itself. The driver's in the car, but it can drive itself in almost, not all, but almost all conditions. Level five is when it can drive in all conditions with nobody in it, like a robo taxi. But we're hoping that they drop level four because if they do and they have that, that would be a game changer, a game changer to take Neo right to the moon. That's what you want to look for on Neo day if you didn't know. So now, what are we waiting for with Neo? We actually waiting to see what the price is going to do after Neo day because it seemed like it could dip, but it could totally take off. I want you to be mindful of that. Now, Neo. If you ain't following them on Twitter, you might want to consider following them on Twitter. They announced yesterday that what they were going to do was give us a teaser, give us a little teaser, and they actually did. And they showed a little teaser image of what the EE7, which is the sedan, what it looked like. And then people saw that, and they were like, oh, that car is gorgeous. That car is just amazing and good looking. Woo, right? So then what they started doing was people started saying, oh, I'm buying a stock, I'm buying a stock, I'm buying a stock, because they know that this sedan is going to be a success. So now, let's get to the bangers. And how are you going to buy NEO today, actually? What you're going to do is we're going to dollar cost average, like we said in the last video about NEO. You dollar cost average your way in, a.k.a. if you got $300, this means instead of strike prices, you're going to use strike days. Maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday, maybe every day of the week, but you split it out. Let's say you split it into 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, right? And do that six times if you got $300. Scale this up to whatever makes sense to your price or your fractional shares. Scale it up so it can make sense to you. Now, you put $50 on it, $50 on it, $50 on it, pop, 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 right? Let's get to the bangers. When are you exiting NEO? Don't. This is not financial advice. Here we go. First banger on the list is Jaguar Health Inc. And I'm hoping that you follow me on Instagram. I know a lot of you are not, but if you are, you find out about these things. When I find out about them, I'm trying to figure out how I can get these to you as soon as I find out about them. But now, I want you to be able to run up with these things when you see them. So here we go. Who are they? They are a commercial stage pharmaceutical company committed to discovering, developing, and commercializing plant-based prescription medicines, plant-based prescription medicines, keep that in mind, that's super important, for urgent global health needs. And they have a drug called 
Midasy or Matesi, and it is a first in class plant based anti circulatory agent and the first oral drug approved under FDA botanical guidance. Now, this company's FDA approved drug is for the symptomatic relief of non infectious diarrhea in adults with HIV AIDS on antiretroviral therapy. Now, they have a CEO and founder who is the same person, and she holds a master's in psychology and pharmacology from the University of California. And currently, this stock is $2 a share, $2 a share, and it already did that little run up, right? So why is this one on the list? Let's talk about it. They're up 130% on a day, they're up 187% on a year, and they're up 173%, oh, they're up 173% on a year and 187% on a week. So they doing numbers this week. And it looks like they're gonna have another run. Why is that? Because the stock analyst, he said this one was a buy. Only one of them is on it yet. Only one Wall Street analyst rated it. And he said it's a buy. And he also gave it a $5 price target in the short term. This means more than another double. So this one needs to be on your watch list at a very minimum. Now, let's keep it going. There are some rumors spreading about this, and you know, you don't want to necessarily invest into a company because of the rumors, but you know what they're saying is, they say buy the rumor, sell the news. Now, that's a good rule of thumb. However, you don't want to invest into a company that you don't believe in and that you don't understand. What do I mean by that? Do research on the company before you invest into it right off the bat. So here we go. We got a person named Edward on the Yahoo Finance Forum, and he pretty much outlined a list of everything, of all of the rumors. Now, I rechecked on their website, on Jaguar's Health website, or their Jaguar Health, their investor page, I checked on it to make sure and verify that these were actually what was going on in the company. And there's no real, there's no reason really to reinvent the wheel. So let's basically read it. Shout out to you, Edward, for putting in this one in a nice little bow for us. So let's look at what he said. He said this, the rumor is they will announce info on a webinar on January 5th or 6th regarding a SPAC merger with a subsidiary called Napo or Napo. Now, the reason this is important is because we already know, we already know how SPAC mergers have been running things up. Next, they got a drug and it's called Crofelomir, AKA Metesi or Mitesi, however you say that one. And it might get emergency approval to be used in Europe to help with the pandemic long haulers. And another rumor, and remember, they say buy the rumor, sell the news. They got another rumor that their three-year cancer study, and this is not a rumor, this is actually a fact. The three-year cancer study on December 20th, it was completed, and the results are still outstanding, but they're supposed to announce the results sometime in January. The next one is their fourth quarter sales are supposedly through the roof. Now, we looking for that. That's a real good sign. The other rumors is this. They're saying that after the SPAC merger, this thing could easily become a 250 or $350 million merger after a year. And then in five years, 1 billion. So this is a huge run up and the stock analyst also agrees that this thing is gonna happen. But again, this is a rumor. You wanna invest in the companies you believe in and the companies you understand. So at a minimum, put this one on your watch list. If you're considering buying in on this, what I want you to do is set your own strike prices. That's your homework, stretch your own strike prices or your own strike days if you feel like it's too hot for strike prices. Let me know what you got in the comments. So who else invested into this company? According to CNN Business, insider trading on this company, JAGX, is up 300% in November. Now that's huge because that shows us that people in the company actually think big things are to come and big things are about to happen. So they're buying more and more of the stock. And what else? Who else is investing into this one? According to NASDAQ.com, a few large institutions increased their position on JAGX stock. One of them is called Virtue Financial LLC and their stock is up 50% on the year, largely due to their picks that they've been picking lately. And what did they do? They increased their amount of shares on JAGX by 300,000 shares in September. And then another company called Renaissance Technology LLC actually sold out on the same day. So one of these companies believed in it a lot, one of them did not. And then this one's kind of funny. Wells Fargo bought like 130 shares on the same day 
So basically, they don't believe in them at all. Keep in mind, this is a penny stock, or it basically was at the time. Now, it had a crazy run already. So what I want you to do, if you're considering getting in, is consider your own strike prices or your own strike days. Let me know in the comments what you figure out and what your plan is. Now, this one is hot. This one is hot, hot, super hot, super hot. Now, check cap LTD, ticker symbol C-H-E-K. Let's talk about it. Again, I posted this one on my Instagram when I found out about it. That's the fastest way I could think of getting it to you. I posted it on my story when it was in like the 60 cents range. So if you could follow me on there, you might find out about these things when I do. And currently they are $1.40 a share. They're up 215% on a day. They're up 294% on a week. They're down 18% on a year, but they're down 94% in the last five years. And web, the website Investor Place, <clears throat> the website Investor Place, they posted an article about CheckCap and they said this, let's take a look at what investors need to know about CheckCap LTD before investing in, into check stock. And shout out to my man, Walrus, for knocking this one out of the park. The Walrus Street, he knocked this one way out the park. So now, Investor Place, they said this, CheckCap LTD is a company that creates a screening device for colorectal cancer. And again, next, the goal is to find polyps before they possibly transform into cancer. And it does this through its C-scan medical device, which is the only preparation-free test able to do so. So this one is a game changer, seriously. And again, don't invest in the companies you don't believe in and don't understand, keep that in mind. And again, next, he says this, C-scan is a capsule that the patient takes and it passes through the body normally. And while doing so, it scans the walls of the gastrointestinal, the gastrointestinal tract and relays information on the tracking system worn on the person's back. Now this data is then sent to a physician and it can be used to make 2D and 3D maps of the person's inner surface of the colon. And again, this one is looking like a potential game changer. So you really wanna learn about this one. So this one though is too hot to have strike prices. Lately, we've been dealing with the ones that are super hot, super duper hot, but it's looking like they have the opportunity to be a long-term hold. Some of these dudes, they tell you, oh, you missed the run, oh, you missed the run, and they're telling you that, but they don't realize that what you're doing is planting a seed. And it don't matter if you planted a seed today or yesterday, if you're waiting for your tree to grow. You know what I'm saying? So if you invest long term, it's all about increasing your position into a company that you believe in. It's not always about a run up today or a run up tomorrow. Because what if you invested into Apple in 1980 and you got to run up with that all the way to, nine, to the 2000? You don't invest in Apple after 2000? No, you still invest because you believe in the company. So now let's get it going. This one is way too hot for a strike price. It doesn't have real support lines to set a strike price on. So this is how you gotta go about that. You gotta dollar cost average in. So let's say you wanna get some skin in the game so you can catch a ride up, then you don't put a lump on it. You put your little bit of money. Let's say you got $300, you maybe put 50, you maybe put 100, and then you see what happens next day. Then if it drops, oh, you got money, you can buy the dip. Or if it goes up, now you just average your way up. Average your way up. This is how you deal with super hot stocks. Next, we got our comment of the day. And it says this, and this one's from one of our young boys. And he said, you helped me learn that my biggest asset I have is my time. And how do I use my time about other assets such as stocks? Oh, he said this, and how to use my time to learn about other assets such as stocks. And I literally got called a nerd for listening to your video. Little do they know you're helping this quote unquote nerd become financially stable. So I want to say this, shout out to you, man, because what you're doing is you're actually spending your time on things that are actually important to you. And you know why that's huge? Because all of us here actually believe in you. All of these young people that are starting to invest and raise their money, we all wish when we were like teenagers that we would start to have invested then. Because then we would have been way, way, way up now with how the stock market has been over the last 10, 20, 30 years. Now, anybody who is talking down on you, Nah, X this person out. 
this person does not belong in your vicinity. You got to drop that out of your life. Because you know what? They say, everybody has something nice to say about you. You just got to die first. Ain't that crazy? And we ain't waiting for that. So you got to X them out of your life. So if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds. Hit that Weibo link to support the channel and to support yourself to get into the pre-market. Hit that notification bell to stay tuned. If you want to watch some more hot stock videos, click this link right here to see those hot stocks. I love y'all. Take care.